Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. So, as many of you are no doubt aware, Call of Duty have a presence at Comic-Con this year. On Thursday, the 21st of July, they're not just doing one panel, but two separate panels. One of them is the Dark Horse Comics panel, and in that panel, Craig Houston and Jason Blundell will be talking about the Call of Duty Zombies comic that is upcoming and is going to be releasing in October this year with its first issue. And there'll also be another panel focusing on the narrative of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and that's an entire separate panel being hosted by Call of Duty themselves, which should be like an hour long or something, and is no doubt going to have loads of info about the world behind the game. Now, the reason I'm making this video, the reason it's called Secure the Keys up there, is that last year, Call of Duty had a presence at Comic-Con, they showed loads and loads of new zombies intel, they showed the giant intro cutscene for the first time, they showed, well, they had a panel actually with all the voice actors, and they were talking to each other in character, and it was amazing supposedly, but a lot of the information that they talked about, a lot of the concepts that they described, a lot of the assets that they showed, were actually lost to history. Unfortunately, because of the way Comic-Con was set up last year, because of the way Comic-Con seems to be set up ongoingly, it's not something that is supposed to have loads of sort of raw video of the event itself being uh, spread out into the public, but rather it's meant to be a unique experience for people that actually attend, and if you don't go, you, to an extent, miss out on all the stuff that was there. So we got a couple of videos of the escape room challenge that they did, we got a couple of snippets of the panels that they did, but we definitely missed out on a lot of information. This year, not only are they doing stuff with Infinite Warfare, they could mention Infinite Warfare Zombies for all I know. And if they do that, and we don't find out about it, then that's going to be a travesty in itself, because right now, we know nothing pretty much about Infinite Warfare Zombies. We know well, <laughs> we know that there's a slide that they've used to tease it, but that slide doesn't really tell us anything, or at least it doesn't tell us anything in the context of what we know right now. It no doubt will do when we learn more about the mode, and we'll look back at it and go, oh yeah, I, I know what this meant now. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But right now, there's not a lot we can really glean from that image per se. But then also, if they release zombies info about the comic in any capacity, this could be a single sentence that Jason says, a single thing that slips out of Craig Houston's mouth, we could lose it. We could never see that stuff. This could be information that the community could get so easily, but it might just let it slip away. And that's why I am making this video right now to say that anyone okay, that is going to Comic-Con on July 21st, needs, please, to secure the keys for the community. Only through your hard work can we ascend from darkness and eventually reach step eight, which is freedom, and by that, I mean knowledge or something. I don't know where I'm going with this, but basically what I'm saying is anyone going to Comic-Con this year really needs to have their head screwed on tight. If there's any of you that are going, First of all, say hello to Jason for me, give him a high five from me, something like that. But also, just write down everything. Or at least take video of whatever you can. Or at least take a load of photos. Or at least try and just do your part in securing that knowledge for the community. Because if there's anything at all that is there, that is only there, then there's a chance that it will stay only there unless you seize the initiative and you bring that information back to the community, back from Comic-Con. It's really important, in my opinion, that I sort of flag this up right now. I know that this obviously won't apply to everybody. Obviously, it's important that we're all aware of the fact that they're talking about the comic, because the comic, a lot of people aren't really hyped about it for some reason. My mind is just like, ba 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 boom what's going on? Why aren't you hyped? This is one of the biggest things to happen to the Call of Duty Zombies storyline ever. And I'm not exaggerating. It's going to be huge. It really, really is. And people aren't excited for it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, about that. Um, guys, what are you doing? It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so good. And so, if they give us any new intel about that comic, then, oh boy, we need to know. We need to know. Really, really, we do. This is gonna tell us stuff, not just necessarily stuff at Comic-Con, but the comic itself is gonna tell us stuff it's going to be instructive of 
it's going to highlight ideas and themes and facets of the next Call of Duty game from Treyarch. Specifically, the Zombies mode of the next Call of Duty game from Treyarch. So essentially, the Black Ops 4 Zombies. Yeah. And it won't be Black Ops 4, it'll be something else, and so we'll be seeing something else from Treyarch. It could be still in the same universe, admittedly, but it won't be Black Ops 4, in my opinion. But this is gonna tell us stuff, this comic is gonna tell us stuff about that game. Even if it's very mysterious, even if it's just completely unclear until that game does come out, and then we can look back on it and say, Oh my goodness, I've just had a revelation. A moment of clarity, if you will. That there's something in there that released in October 2016, that was going to directly affect October, November, December, January, February, March 2018. Yeah. I'm really excited about this comic. I really am very excited about it, and for good reason in my opinion. And I want you guys to be excited for it too, because I think that it is integral to our understanding of the story. It's integral to the experience that is Call of Duty Zombies, and if they mention it, for even a sentence at Comic-Con, I want to know about it. Because it's part of the fun, right? It's part of the hype. It's part of the enjoyment, and it's part of Dan knowledge. <laughs> so, if you're at Comic-Con, you've got one job and one job only. And that's to secure the keys, okay? Counting on you guys. You can do this. Write everything down. Take as much video as you can. Photograph everything, anything that could be important, I will comb through reams and reams of information if you bring it before me. That's my job. I am like a zombies librarian right now. I want to just read it all. Even if it's completely unrelated to anything at all, even if it's Blundell sneezing, I want to know, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Hopefully we get some cool intel out of this, and I'll see you next time. By the way, Monty videos are on the way. And oh my goodness, the story has changed. I just want to quickly segue, okay? I digress right now. The Call of Duty Zombie storyline, for a long time, was this meandering sort of stream that didn't really know where it was going, right? Now, we've got stuff that they gave us in Origins that now, to this day, we're only really beginning to understand the true significance of, and you look back at it, and you go, Oh my goodness. This is masterful. I love it. It's so great. There's so much in the story that has been a big question mark for so long. The Origins cutscene. When Origins came out, everyone was like, Guys, it's all a dream. And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> nah, -uh, it's not all a dream. There's some other funky stuff going on here, but it ain't a dream, just a dream at least. It's in part a dream, is there, that sort of comes into it, but it's not just a dream, okay? But now, we've got such a lovely picture of what's going on here. I love it. I absolutely love it. So thanks for watching, guys. I've just digressed. Digression over. That's me signing out. Tally-ho. Bye-bye. <laughs>